what's up homie <laughs> Save you mean staying at home no i don't talk like that like, that's not my style <laughs> but once again thank you for joining us on this episode of what you're cooking and of course, uh, why do we start off with a tempo in the background? Because today, we have a close friend, a great buddy, and a very talented gentleman who will be joining me on this episode. And of course, he's none other than entrepreneur and artist. This is Zayden in the house. Come on, Zayden! Come on, 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 Hey, hey, okay, we cannot stay too close, lah. So we got distance apart. You must follow the measuring tape over here. Zayden, you know, uh, we had some of our friends come on board this platform. You've seen them in action. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, what you do. I know I started off with a fake big box. Uh, okay, <laughs> so you are your music producer, yeah. you're an artist. Uh, before you start introducing yourself, let's give people a chance to take a look at what you usually do at work and at play over here. Cool, huh, bro? So, um, tell us a little bit about that. Tell the viewers uh, who you are, what you do. So, uh, my name is Zayden. Uh, I'm an artist, I'm an entrepreneur. So, uh, I started as a beatboxer. Mm. Then I went into music production and then I went into uh, a more frontline act. So, I decided to sing, rap, and then recently, this couple of years, I started going into business. Mm. Yeah. So, you know, this body of mind has been evolving. Like, and this mm. is what we're talking about. Right? We're moving ahead with times in, in our style and our format. Mm. When I met you, uh, you were more into music. Now you're real time into business. But, mm. you know, many people have not seen you beatbox before. And you're actually one of the best in Singapore. <laughs> it's been a very, very long Try time. Try it's okay. <laughs> la. For the audience okay. viewers, let's take a look. Beatbox okay. style, ready? One, two, three, go. Okay. <laughs> What's your cookie? <laughs> it's not bad, uh, still there. I'm uh. trying to not to let the food. Yeah, yeah, because you have to move back, right? Safety distance yeah. from the food. Keep sure, make sure nothing flies over the place. Mm. Still very natural. Uh. Mm. So now, you know, we, we are moving into the, the circuit breaker period, you know, mm -hmm. in terms of your business and mm. also in terms of your music production. How has this situation affected you? I think uh, it tested a lot of our abilities to be able to adapt. Mm. Especially for like one of my business is a it's a cafe. Mm. So in in this period of time, you hear a lot of cafes like closing down. Mm. So it's really a true test of being able to adapt. You know, mm. coming up with something new and different that you can offer to people. You know, digital digitalizing your business, and also I mean it's the same for music. It's also coming up with different concepts. You know, because everybody is like you know going up to create content. Correct. You and know, this so the, the time to do yes, it. Right. So it's a time to really learn how to adapt and like really try to find a unique point Yes, so, so yeah. it's about having the chance to uncover a new niche of your own yep. so that you actually stay, you know, sync to the current times and also to the viewers and the audience out mm -hmm. there. So you dabble in the F&B business recently also, yep. over, I think over the past yeah. one year plus, yeah. which means you cook lah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I cook for myself. Okay. Yeah, but I rarely cook for my customers. Then I leave it to the professionals. Okay, but we've seen yeah. some photos of you earlier on, before then and now. Mm. Oh, and of course, in this program, we're always talking about maintaining a good healthy diet so that we keep ourselves at our tip-top condition. Mm -hmm. And today, I'm going to give you a chance to introduce one of my favorite dietitians on board. Okay. Uh, this gentleman, real talent also, he's going to give mm. you the chance to tell you more about the first dish, what to prepare, and then later on, I'll come back and join you on a cook-off challenge. So I'm going to hand the Beautiful. time over to my buddy over here, this is Rico Swimborn from SSI once again. Come on. Thanks, Ben. Hey, Zayden, how you doing? I'm good. Yeah, I like that yeah. beatbox. Thank you. That was cool. <laughs> yeah. It's been a while though, it's been a while. I think you're gonna go great here because cooking and, and singing and music, very similar mm. arts. 
uh, relaxed, freestyle, yes. very expressive. Yes. Yeah, I very rarely follow a recipe verbatim. Mm. I always just like to kind of freestyle. It's my way to relax. Okay. I guess I'm music looking, is I'm your way I'm looking forward to it, yeah. You like steak? Yes, I love steak. Okay, yeah. excellent. I think we should... Um, I mean, this is the this is the big boy show. This is all about the the protein power. Wow! Right? Yeah, we're okay. gonna do steak. We're doing eggs later on. We're gonna um, chat with one of our national water polo players as well. Oh wow! Yeah. Okay. Actually, um, the biggest eaters I've ever seen in mm -hmm. sport. Uh, one, um, the junior All Blacks in New Zealand. Okay. And right up there, next to them, our national water polo team. Mm -hmm. Those guys can eat. So I'm going to show, uh, show you guys out there some really filling foods. If you've got a, a growing teenager in the house, someone that does a lot of sports, someone that mm -hmm. just has a big appetite. Ben has a big appetite. It's uh, perfect for Ben. Yeah, that's a big boy right there. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we're going to fill him up. Let's wash our hands, and then okay. we'll cook the steak. Comes together really quick. Nice, fast dish. We'll be eating in no time. Okay. All right, let's wash Can't our wait. hands here, Zayden. Okay. Okay, we'll put you on the pan, Zayden. All right, perfect. Yeah, let's, um, let's dress the steak up. So we're going to actually dress the steak, oil on the steak, not mm -hmm. oil in the pan here. Right. Okay, so, so le less, less, less smoke? Yeah, Okay. precisely. All right. So um, if you can put the pan on the heat for me. See. Yeah. All right. All right. Now I want you to pick the steak up in your hand. The whole thing? Yeah. Okay. So you're just laying it on there like a... Like a baby, that's it. And now I just All want right. you to pour a little bit of olive oil on top and you're just going to rub it in with your hand. Wow. There you Is go. Is this too much? Yeah, it's good. Is it good? Yep. Alright. And now just paint it. You're the artist, paint it on wow. with your fingers. That's it. It's like applying suntan lotion. Yeah. yeah. It feels good. It's relaxing. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Now I want you to get um, a pinch of salt and just a pinch of salt over the top. Can I use this hand? Yeah. Right. Pinch. Yeah, just from a height, and then we get a nice distribution. Like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Flex it. It's the protein show. Flex it. Work it, Zayden. All right. Now you can flip the meat over. Right. Yeah. And then we Same re thing? Yeah. Repeat. Wow. Feels good, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I like how you're doing that. Oh, you're a natural. See, I told you you'd be a natural at this. All right, lid off the pan and then just lay the steak gently in the pan. All right. Very good. Should I cover it up? Yeah, you can. All right. And if you just lower the heat um, a little bit, maybe knock it down a couple of notches. We've got a lot of heat in that pan now. Right. Good stuff. You want to wash your hands? Yes, yeah. let's go. <laughs> so while that's cooking, we're going to just quickly um, prepare our vegetables. Okay. Right? So the great thing about cooking steak like this, once it's cooked, we're going to take it out and we're going to cover it in tin foil and just let it rest. Okay. And we're going to cook our vegetables separate. The nice thing about that is that we shouldn't chop into a steak and eat it straight away out of the pan. We like it to rest. It reabsorbs all the all the juices right. and it makes it really succulent and moist. Right. So like leave it out after it's done. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So you should let it rest for about half the cooking time. So if we're going to cook it around about five minutes each side, right? Mm -hmm. um, we want to let it. So that's ten minutes total. We want to let it rest for about five minutes. Okay. And that's all it will take to cook these vegetables. All right. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So first thing we're going to do is just wash the mushrooms. I don't get too fussy. I mean, you can see there's a little bit of dirt on the mushroom. Mm -hmm. um, I don't actually worry about that too much. It's yeah. not going to hurt us. We like get a little natural, bit of yeah. We get a bit of stuff. vitamin B12 out of that, so that's okay. You want to rinse that under the tip yeah, sure. for me? Yeah. All right. Nice. Now I'm going to give you half of these. Okay. All right. They run away. I'm going to have the other half. Just take with a knife and just very rustically just chop them in half. Anyhow, we'll do. All right. I very rarely cut mushrooms up nice and neat and proper. I quite like them kind of chunky yeah. and thick and Same. something to chew on. Yeah. All right. Um, just check that steak. I see a bit of smoke coming out. Okay. All right. Okay. Whoa. I think we can flip it, Zayden. Okay. Yeah. You think you can do that with the. Or you want to use it? Might, it might fly out of the whole kitchen, though. Oh, <laughs> we have had that on the show. 
<laughs> We've had things go, go all over the place. Okay, I'm going to try can, flipping it then. You can... Ah, is a good it, man, it, I like is it. it. Is it realistic? I back you. Oh, hey! <laughs> All right, good stuff. We can turn that down a bit, a little bit more. The heat. It's quite a lot of heat in that pan now. Good. I'm gonna put the lid back on. Yeah. Now, Zayden, how do you like your meat cooked? Uh, medium. Medium. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if you've ever seen, but when chefs cook steak, they're mm -hmm. always poking it all the time. Have you ever seen them do that? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And they just they just poke it. Yeah. So when you've had a bit of experience, you can actually tell how cooked the steak is just by pressing it. Oh, that's and what they were doing? Yeah, that's Man. what they're doing. I was wondering, like, why are the chefs are poking yeah. in the mid all the time? Yeah. There's a great little trick for that, right? So if yeah. you take your thumb and your, and your forefinger, mm -hmm. okay, and, it, and then you just press the meat at the bottom of your thumb, that right. muscle there, right? Yeah. So that's what the meat feels like when it's rare. Okay. Okay, so when it's cooked to rare, it feels like that. Okay. Now, if you put your thumb on the next finger, and you, and you feel that muscle tighten up a little oh, bit. Oh, wow. Oh, did you feel right. that? Yeah. Yeah, so that's medium rare now. Okay. All right. Move along another finger. Okay, that's medium. That's okay. what, how you like it, isn't it? Yes. You were telling me medium, medium, yeah. Right. Yeah, and then the, the little finger, that's well done. Okay. So that's quite hard, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, that muscle's really contracted now. Yeah. Yeah, so as the meat gets more cooked, it gets more tougher. Yeah, so it's well, really down to, uh, to yeah. individual preference. So nice little trick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So let's have a little look now and, and give mm -hmm. a little poke and let's see what we think wow. it is. It smells so good, man. Yeah, it smells great, doesn't it, John? Another nice little trick, when you see blood start to come up through the meat... Um, it's how, do, a, how do you tell, like... You'll see it kind blood. of starting to leak through the top. Okay. Yeah, that, that's when it's about uh, medium rare. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think it's like, this is rare, right? Yeah, this is rare. Yeah, I think it's like in between. Yeah. Right there, there. There's not too much blood coming up yet, so I think we can leave it a little bit longer. Okay. Yeah, it's quite a big piece of steak too. Yeah. Serving size for you at home, if you want to know how much meat is appropriate to eat. Um, scientists have worked out that about 400 grams total a week. Um, any more than that, and you actually increase your risk of bowel cancer. So. A bit of red oh. meat is good for you, but you don't want it every day, you don't want it too much. Yeah. Let's just wait for that to cook off, and then what we're going to do is cover it, and then add our vegetables. Okay. Yeah, we'll be there. Sounds great. So Zayden, circuit mm -hmm. breaker finished now. Mm -hmm. um, how is it for you? Work. I mean, people are starting to come out a little bit, mm. um, but it's still pretty quiet. Yep, yeah. it is. As an entrepreneur mm -hmm. for yourself, how are you doing with that? We're still trying to, like, you know, uh, let this thing really die out. Yeah. So. I mean, we're still playing it safe, you know, still trying not to go out too often, mm. still, you know, trying not to hang out in, in too much of a big group. Mm. So there's still a lot of, like, precautionary measures to be taken. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you know, just be just glad to be able to just go out and breathe more fresh air. And, I mean, music-wise, is is it's just been great. So, like... It was a good time because like, my team, we were able to like, adapt in the situation. So coming out of this, you know, it's just like a celebration. You know? We're just glad to you know, live life and be blessed. Awesome. Yeah. Man. That's great. Yeah. Let's check that steak. I think it's just about done. Let's give it another poke, Zayden. All right. Wow. It's looking a little firmer now. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's like, yeah. It's about there. It's there. Yeah, I think yeah. it's there. Remember, the meat keeps cooking a little bit once it's out of the pan. There's quite okay. a lot of heat in that meat, right? So I just want you to put it on the plate. Okay. So it traps the heat in the meat? Yeah, the meat okay. cook, heats up on the inside too. Okay. So yeah. should I switch this off? Or? Um, now we're going to cook the mushrooms in that pan in a oh, minute. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you can just transfer the meat to the plate. Boom, look at that. Fantastic. All right, that looks pretty good, eh? Yeah. Yeah. I can see some nice juices just coming out through the top. Well, wow. um, it smells, it smells good There's too. a little bit of blood, so I think you've got around about medium, medium, medium to medium rare. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is really nice. And we're just going to let it rest now for about five minutes while we cook the mushrooms. All right. Yeah. So we just wrap that up. That'll keep it nice and warm and hot for us okay. without overcooking it. 
and we just push that to one side. Okay. Right. I might just clean that pan actually, because okay. it's looking a bit, um, it's looking a bit black. Okay, vegetable time, Zayden. Let's put a little bit okay. of um, oil in the pan. We've given it a okay. little clean. How much? Just a I drizzle. Clean? A drizzle. Yeah. Let's see what you do with that. Is this a drizzle? Yeah. Okay. Great. I told you you'd be a natural at this. All That's right. That's awesome. All right. Mushrooms in. Okay. The whole, just the whole. All thing? the mushrooms. Just the mushrooms only. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So, um, Doctor Rico. Yeah. Are you a real doctor? I am a real doctor. I'm not a medical right. doctor though. Okay. I have a PhD, mm -hmm. um, not in nutrition, but uh, in sleep science. In sleep for athletic. Sleep science. Sleep science. Yeah. Okay. Sleep for athletic performance and right. recovery. Right. So, so yeah. I'm imagining that to be like you consult people on their sleep. Yeah, um, I um, I've really landed in the right country because mm -hmm. uh, Singapore really struggles to get a good night's sleep. Yep. Did you know actually there's no official night time in Singapore? It's too bright. There's too many lights on. Um, right. And um, you can see Singapore really clearly from space. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just it just glows so bright. People live quite late into the night here too. Yep. Just give that pan a little um, a little jiggle there. Zayden, yeah, we we'll just keep those mushrooms on the go. That's right. All right. Um, and you know, actually, Singapore has about the third poorest sleep times in the world. Um, the third? Yeah, behind wow. Japan and, and South Korea. Okay. So there's a lot of work here. So yeah, I'm constantly talking to people about sleep, um, assessing their sleep, and then giving them some hacks and some tips uh, right. to sleep better for sure. Yeah. So like, are your clients like mostly, like athletes? Yeah, I work at the Singapore Sport Institute, um, mm. and we look after Singapore's best athletes there. Right. Yeah, from Sea Games, Asian Games, Commonwealth Games, right. through to the Olympics. So, like, yeah. which 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 kind of athlete from which sport has like most trouble sleeping? Um, I work mostly. That's a great question. I work mostly with swimming, and swimmers. Oh, for real? Yeah, swimmers typically. Um, have the shorter sleep times because you know what they're waking up at 4:45 in the morning, right? While you're still dreaming about the next song lyrics, right? <laughs> they are up and they're having their breakfast and they're in the water, two hours training in the in the morning, right? And then they go to school and then they've got another two two and a half hours mm -hmm. at night, yeah. Right. And then of course um, after evening training, go home, have dinner, do study and homework, catch up with the right. family, yeah, and then into bed. So um, our swimmers typically sleep. Uh, some of the shortest hours in Singapore. Wow. Can you add that chilli to the pan for me, Zayden? Right. Just a bit of red chilli. Yeah. Just to keep things, you know, a little warm. Yeah, the colour looks great as well. Yeah, it does. We eat with our eyes, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. It's like a piece of art. Do you like garlic? Yes. It's really good for your immune system, actually. Oh, yeah. yeah. So like, how, how like what what advice do you have for like people who who have like bad insomnia? Yeah, um, if you so insomnia is an inability or a struggle to actually fall asleep at night, right? Uh -huh. So if you have insomnia, um, one thing to do is not not take a nap in the day. It sounds a bit counterintuitive, right. but you you want to be really sleepy mm -hmm. come bedtime. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So one thing to do is to not. Um, is to not nap too much. Right. Yep. Is that um, a garlic in? Yep. Can you add right. that for me as well? The garlic into the pan. All right. So, don't take a nap. Don't take a nap, and then you really want to allow your body some time to, to wind down, to prepare your brain and your body, your mm -hmm. physiology for sleep at night. Right. Um, and they say that your eyes are the window to your soul, mm -hmm. but they're also the window to your body clock. Right. And of course, we get. Um, super saturated with blue light these days you know mm -hmm. it comes out of our phone out of our devices oh, yeah. we get it naturally from the sun as we should because we're daytime animals mm -hmm. but at night when the sun goes down we should have less blue light in our face right. um, so people need to use uh, night mode on the phone blue light blocking on the screens and this turn the overhead lights down a little bit make it a little dim in the, right. in the so, house like mm -hmm. when you sleep put night mode on your phone yeah 
Yeah, uh, maybe two yeah. hours before you sleep. About two hours before you want to go to sleep. Right, right. Night mode on, lights down. Wow. Yeah. Another I'm a, nice I'm a little. Too, yeah. yeah, you should. Yeah. Another nice little trip uh, tip is to have a hot shower before bed. Oh, okay. Yeah. Scientists have discovered if you have a ten-minute hot shower, you'll fall asleep much faster. All right. Yeah. It's called wow. skin warming, and it works. It works really well. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna try that. Yeah. I'm gonna try that. Do you like rosemary? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Uh, look, I'm going to show you how to add rosemary to the pan. All right. Yeah. Have a little smell of that firstly. It smells so good, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Now, um, we don't want to just chuck it in like that. We, mm -hmm. we want to pick the leaves off. Okay. Right? A really easy way is just to take it at the top. Which part is the top? Y yep. You've got it. All That's right. the top. Okay. Yep. And then just, just run your fingers down the stem. Right. And all the, all the little leaves will just fall off all separately oh, okay. oh. in your hand. Just like that. Oh, fantastic. Oh, beautiful. Wow. You're a natural, man. You're a natural. Can you. add a little bit of extra salt to the pan okay. if you want to just season the vegetables intelligently so there. Like a pinch? Yeah. All right. It looks good, huh? It does, eh? Yeah. Yeah. I want you to do one final thing with that pan. Okay. Okay. I want you to get the tongs. And I want you to push all the mushrooms to the outside of the pan. Okay. So there's a bit of a hole in the middle. Right. All right. Like that? Beautiful. Yeah, you wow. can see all the juices. Mushrooms um, have quite a, a high water content. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that's coming out, right? So we can put something in that pan now just to cook in all those juices. Right. Another form of protein, plant protein this time, chickpeas. Mm -hmm. In, uh, in America and Mexico, they call them garbanzo beans, mm -hmm. um, but we're going to call them chickpeas. Garbanzo? Yeah. Garbanzo into the pan. So everything? Yeah. Into the middle. Right. So chickpeas, legumes, beans, really high in protein, really high in soluble fiber, very, very good for your bowel, great prebiotic, mm -hmm. um, very good for your heart as well. Helps uh, soak up cholesterol in the body. Yeah. Uh, really, really filling. So, how do you know like so much about like healthy food? Or, like... Uh, well, before I did um, sleep science, mm -hmm. um, I studied as a dietitian. Okay. Yeah. So wow. um, uh, that was my first profession, a dietitian, okay. and then I went on and specialised in sport nutrition. Mm -hmm. um, and then I got really fascinated with sleep. Right. Um, and when I started that study. No one had really started studying it. Um, it, w it wasn't really investigated. We didn't really know how athletes slept. Right. We didn't even know if it was important. We didn't even know if they had a problem. It turns out athletes sleep poorer than non-athletes. Mm -hmm. um, and so, um, you know, it's really important for them. It's the cornerstone of post-exercise recovery uh, for immune strength, um, you know, for not getting sick mm -hmm. uh, and for bouncing back from training and competition. Yeah, it all starts wow. with your pillow, really. Yeah, all right. You were so good with the drizzle, mm. I want you to do some more drizzle, okay? Wow. okay. Uh, this time, balsamic vinegar. A little trick, Zayden, if you put your thumb over the top. All right. Yep, and then upend the bottle over the pan, and then just slowly, yeah, there you are, and it just kind of comes out just nice and slow. Right, so just pop that on the beans. That's it, beautiful. All right, a little bit more olive oil. All right. We can't really overdo the drizzle. The yeah, I love it. Can't really overdo olive oil. Yeah. Fantastic. All right, now just give that pan a shake and that will just help the, the chickpeas nestle down into the pan. Well, you That's can really, it. really smell it right now. Yeah, and we can just put the lid back on. That will take maybe a couple of minutes. Those chickpeas are already cooked. Okay. So it's the ultimate fast food. It's ready to be eaten. All you gotta do is heat it up. Yeah. Perfect. Now, Ben, um, was telling us all about your um, history as a musician, mm -hmm. um, as a beatbox expert, as a rapper, mm. right? <laughs> now, can you rap on the spot? Like, if I give you a subject, could you, could you rap about it? Uh, I could try, yeah. but it might not be good. <laughs> I, I don't care. I just want to see if you can do it. Okay. I think it'll be fun. So let's, uh, let's do a rap about um, eating steak and getting strong. Wow. Not sure what are we gonna make. Is it salmon, chicken, or steak? But no matter what, I bet it's gonna taste great because that's how champions are made. 
<laughs> There's a virtual high five, man. Yeah, let's go. Cool. <laughs> Very good, I like it. Um, okay, that's it. We've really just got to... Um, this, this dish is uh, beautiful, served at the table Okay. in the frying pan. Wow, yeah, okay. So I are really... we going to put it together with the... With yeah, the so steak? all we're going to okay. do now is just lay the steak on top. Okay. Oh, it's still really hot. It's dripping. Oh, there you are, look at that. Yeah. Wow. That's so okay. Juicy, See yeah. all those lovely juices? We're going to pour those back into the pan. They're okay. just going to soak down and just, you know, really complement that flavour. Mm -hmm. um, and then That's we're just the gonna, good stuff, right? Yeah. And then we're just going to lay the, the steak on top. Okay. And then it'll be ready to eat. All right. Yeah. Okay. You want to do that bit for me? Okay. All right. So just lay that yeah. steak right through the middle. So should I pour this? You can t uh, pour that in too? Yeah, nice. Oh, that's looking wow. good. There we are. So, Zayden, we can just let that rest. Folks, please stick with us. Ben is going to come back and sample this dish with Zayden right after the break. Welcome back to Whatcha Cooking. Salmon chicken or steak? That's how champions are made. This boy can't wait. I'm gonna eat your steak. Hey! <laughs> hey bro, I've been waiting a long time, bro. Oh, you waited for yeah. one commercial break? Ah? Yeah. Okay, so, la. so we share. La. Yeah, we share, please. Okay, then um, let's have. Uh, okay, la, you're my brother. I'll share it with you. So let Rico have the honors. I'm back. Oh, okay. Good to be back with you guys. <laughs> Good stuff. We're gonna. Good uh, to see you. It's nice we can all be together on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And of course, uh, you know, while we're still keeping our safe distance, you know, I've been sneaking behind and watching you guys do the prep works. You know, Rico, what you didn't know is the purpose as to why I brought Zayden into this episode of the program. Okay, okay. Is because number one, Zayden has a habit to sleep really late. 
So as a sleep doctor, you given him great advice. Oh, Number nice. two, actually many of you do not know uh, that actually Zayden was formerly also a competitive swimmer. Really? Yes. You were, mm. ah, course, and I wonder yeah. you were tuning into the story around swimming. Yeah. I heard you go, oh, <laughs> swimming. So that is the reason why I've put both of you together. So that we can actually tell the audience some of the you know, areas that we can look into, especially like what you were mentioning, Singapore. It's a hectic cycle, isn't it? Yeah. And I can see Zidane's eyes brightening up when you say, turn your mobile phone to night mode. Yeah. Because yes. he never knew that. I never knew that. <laughs> no, a lot of people don't never, know their yeah. phone even has a night I do mode. That all, all, yeah. I do that all the time yeah. because the color of the screen actually does change. And I did it not because I know that it's going to help me sleep with less blue light. I did it because I think it's more soothing to the eye when you're looking at your mobile phones in the, in mm. the dark because I tend to switch off uh, all, all my lights, you know? Yeah, yeah that's right. And the most important thing is that do you know that when you sleep, it is best to sleep in total darkness because your body actually reads the environment and it tells you that uh, it's night time. Mm. So any form of light in your room will actually you know, trigger your, your point. Am I right to say that, Dr. Rico? Yeah, I actually sleep with an, uh, a sleep mask every oh. night. Oh, yeah. So to even right. yeah. block off any natural light that's coming into yeah. our room. If yeah, if you can see your hand in front of your face, technically it's not dark enough. Oh. Because your eyelids are transparent, actually. Light will pass through People your eyelids. Through. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So that would be your bit. That's about medium rare right there. Yeah. Right, into medium. Yeah. Wow. This is the thinner end of the steak, so that's probably more like a medium. So it cooks, like, faster, right? Yeah, the thinner it is, the faster it cooks. Right. Yeah. Nice. So this is the favourite part of our show, which is where we get to dive in. This one. Right in the middle. Wow. With a little bit of fat. It is the big boy steak. Yeah. 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 And I want you to try the mushrooms and, uh, and some of the chickpeas as oh, well. Okay. No, usually when the stick is medium, wow. it tends to be a bit drier, but yours is juicy. You know when you bite it, it just ooze right out. Yeah. One never did, brother. Mm. Mm. And try a mushroom, try a mushroom. Mm. I'm going to use the spoon then. Because we don't double dip. Huh? I'm going to have the mushroom with the chickpeas. Yeah. Oh. We did them chunky style. Steak and mushrooms are so juicy. match made in heaven, isn't it? Mm. This is a this is something that I can eat tea time, dinner yeah. time, any time of the day. We got to keep staying yeah. strong too. The chicken, uh, the the mushroom, and the chickpeas are um, really good for your immune system. And I think like the chili kind of like adds a bit of like that that edge to yeah, the mushroom. Yeah, because in, in right? Singapore yeah. we like it a little bit yeah. fiery. I know. And this is yeah. Boom! I'm gonna put this aside. Thank you, Doctor. Yeah, Rico. you're welcome. I'm yep. Wash my hands. Mm. Mm. So we have what we call a chef challenge, a face out, and uh, it's a secret recipe. Uh, so I, I don't see the recipe, yeah. but I see pineapple. pineapple, a dragon fruit. Is this a dragon fruit? Yeah, 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 yeah. It is a dragon fruit. This is not lotus or flower. Yogurt. This is what basil or mint, mint. Mint, mint leaves. Yeah, from that, yeah, give it a smell. Yeah. and olive oil, which is yeah. Dr. Rico's favorite oil. That, that all, that's a weird little finish to this dish, but it mm. really works, yeah. It's so this is a really healthy little dessert. We've got knife skills on show here and plating skills. So this oh. is a very pretty aesthetic little challenge. Okay. Um, it is a pineapple and dragon fruit carpaccio. Carpaccio, carpaccio. is the Italian carpaccio. word for slicely, ultra uh, thin. th th thinly sliced, ultra thin. What is that? Oh. What's it called? It's called a carpaccio. Carpaccio. Yeah, like yeah. Ben Logan is a carpaccio. Ultra thin. <laughs> wow. In my dreams. <laughs> so you're going to uh, top and tail okay. the pineapple. Okay. You're going to um, peel it huh? with your knife, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. And then you're going to cut that really thinly on your plate. Uh, you're going to do the same <laughs> with the dragon fruit. And then you're going to dress it up with the mint leaves, some coconut yogurt there as well, and a little drizzle of olive oil to finish. This is and like it a... should really pop on the plate. Do we cook the vegetable? Or do no, we this is a raw dish. Oh, so no yeah. fire, no nothing? Nah. Okay, so you've got uh, one whole pineapple, mm -hmm. one whole red dragon fruit. Mm -hmm. You need to split each in half uh, and go from there. Okay, wow. sounds good, bro. Because you're the guest today, I get the dragon fruit because I'm the leader of this pack and then you get wow. the pineapple. You've given him the easy one. <laughs> okay. Definitely, man. Huh? Pineapple is easier to slice, man? Yeah. Never mind. Okay, count down. Ready? <laughs> Set. Wait, what were you supposed to do? Slice, no? half each. Slice. I'll give you half of my dragon fruit and you give me half the pineapple. Alright. I don't know how to do it, so... Uh, Three, two, one. Okay, okay. Is this correct? Slice off the bottom first? You can do that. 
So we go to do a slice of the. the, the yeah, head. so yeah. yeah. So top and tail at Zayden. How do I slice a. Knives are sharp, watch your fingers. How do I slice a dragon fruit? Do I slice the top and bottom like how we do our carrots and stuff? You can do it that way, and now just straight through the middle. And uh, slice. Yeah, just okay, watch your fingers Whoa. there. Okay. Ah, the other way. This way. Yeah, lengthways, yeah. Here? Yeah. Oh, eh? Oh, no, it's not that hard. Lah. Not Look, that hard. isn't it nice inside, though? Okay, so it's how, how do I yeah. peel it then? And then you can uh, quarter that again. Qu quarter it again. Yeah. Oh, I know what to do now. Now you, 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 you help yourself. It's a competition. <laughs> Even though we are friends, but in a competition, there's no such thing as friends. Frenemies. Yeah, we are frenemies. Frenemies. Oh, then I just peel off. They peel pretty easy, don't they? Yeah. yeah. So I really got the easier one. Like, you scared me for a moment. I'm going to wait for two hours before I get my pineapple, really. Oh, oh. That's a big boy's approach to Let's splitting go. a pineapple. Oh. Okay, come This is the durian style. That's the steak right there. <laughs> hey, bro, that's for your decoration. Yeah. Great decoration. Look like the emperor. So I look like SpongeBob, you know. <laughs> Pineapple emperor. <laughs> Let's just place it in the middle, lah. It's quite prickly. Okay. Actually, um, yeah. Don't throw that bit away. You can use it for your garnish. Yeah. And uh, mm. so what do we do? We cut it into half. Yes, yeah, so you can cut it into half again. So um, dragon fruits are a great source of antioxidant and vi uh, the, uh, fiber f uh, for the body, right? If I if I remember it correctly. Yeah. If you look at that beautiful color. It's I like the colour of berries, isn't it? I don't know how to cut pineapple. Eh. I also don't know. So, is it like this? Yeah, and you can um, you can cut it uh, down the middle again. Like this? No, lengthways. Oh, this way? Yeah. Really? Okay. Nice. And now you should be able to lay those pieces on their side, and it will be easy just to cut down oh. um, through the skin. Like this? Yeah. Oh, this. And, and you probably want to get rid of that thick middle bit as well. This one? And the, oh, this the, one. Yeah. The, the, what, is it, what do you call that? The stem? The yeah. pop? The core? It's a bit chewy sometimes, eh? Yeah, it's a bit fibrous, right? Mm. The look, I can So now you've got a nice piece. Now, <laughs> now, now your challenge is to cut that nice piece as trust. into as trust. thinly as you uh, can. Yeah. Oh, very good, Ben. <laughs> it's like paper, isn't it? Well, personal! You can almost see my face through the... Almost. Yeah, not mm. bad. I'm learning fast from every episode, man. You are. This is my slice. It's <laughs> a homeless slice, bro. <laughs> people, people are going to complain in, in your store if you actually <laughs> give them slices of that size. Wow, dragon fruit is hard to cut, man. Oh, yeah, still need... Is it proving challenging? Oh, dragon fruits are really quite hard to do a... What do you call that? You may not get that as thin, but that's okay. You can let the pineapple do the talking. Oh, goodness. It's not easy at all, man. You should really practice this at home. It's a good, good challenge to train your patience, and this one will put you to sleep. Oh, <laughs> it's so hard. <laughs> all right, so... Um, so we... <laughs> it's like getting away from you there. Yeah. Right, now, this is the important bit, really. This is where you can really... Oh, my Express the artistic side. Oh, look, Zayden stepped it up now. I like that. He reset. It's like yeah, pineapple man. noodles. Good. So you know, Zayden, we are moving mm. into the the first week mm. of um, better slices, Ben. Yeah, uh, mm. the um, circuit breaker mm -hmm. easing up a little bit. So, so what are your current plans when it comes to your work and your training regimes? I think it's a lot about just adapting, you know, having a lot of positivity and just, you know, grow from whatever happens, you know, like in life, you never know what's going to happen next. So we just take it one stride at a time. And so, just so, so you, you have a cafe, right? Mm -hmm. And how has it affected you during this uh, CB period? I mean, during the CB mm -hmm. period especially. I think we had to innovate a lot. You know, like we innovate a lot in terms of like creating new things. Mm -hmm. Uh, and like I said, like digitalizing, like we never had like delivery. Oh, so previously it was all dine in, right? Yes, mostly dine in. So after this period, we have like delivery, you know, like innovating, like new drinks, like our cold brew. Oh, so, so you, you brought in new product range. Yes, so that... we created a new product range, basically to offer. Twice, thirty. Yeah. Is so, it running? Uh, 
You no. can drain the water off the top. Oh, I don't yeah. use the water? Okay, I'm so going to help you stir it's this. It's be nice bit. and thick now. Ooh. Okay. You can stir it, yeah. I have no idea what mine is supposed to look like. Mint leaves, Mint perhaps? Mint leaves, perhaps, yeah. Put a little bit of green against the gold. Oh, this is not easy, bro. So do I smash out the, 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 the leaves? It's really? nice to rip leaves. When you rip them, um, the flavor releases comes the, out, right? yeah, the perfume nicely oh, oh, yeah, you when you slice them. them. Really is that nice. going up your nostrils? Yeah. Yeah. I like, I've always liked mint leaves, you know. Actually, I'm glad yeah. you put some green on there. That um, might have saved it some. Um, yeah, I think I'm done. I think Zayden, you can tell Zayden has a cafe, right? <laughs> he's, he's thinking about packaging, presentation. Come on. <laughs> and Come on. At the end of the day, you just want to look like you have a aesthetics. big serving, isn't it? Would you eat that on a small serving or would you like to eat mine on the same price? You can sell this for more money. Wow. <laughs> and now, this is affordability <laughs> with quantity. Now, Zayden, I want you to show Ben a, a drizzle of olive oil okay. over the top and it just really flies with the sweet fruit. All right, just over the top? Yeah, just a drizzle. Just a small drip. Okay. Not too much, because extra virgin oh, yeah, olive yeah. oil. Actually, is, yours really looks quite nice, huh? It's a little peppery. Mm. There we are, a nice ring around it. Ta -da! Ta -da! I'm done. You know, we still got to keep our distance apart, huh? Oh. So, this is how it looks like. Which one will you go for? So, as the uh, t shirts pronounce, Zayden is the champion. Yes. Ben is the chef. Chef lah. Yes. Because I feed you all, right? He wins lah, it's okay. I feed you all. <laughs> Might just look good, so it's okay. It's not good, but you not eat enough. Mine looks like, mine looks like lasagna. Now, you get to comment and tell us which one you like better. The nicely Italian style <laughs> plating or the Singapore Hawker Centre chocolate <laughs> comment. You decide, comment, like, share, you know, and this is going to be great. Fantastic, yep. okay. So now that we are in with the second recipe, we're going to come right back on the third recipe very, very shortly, and what will we be presenting on dish number three? Oh, dish number three is, all, this is a tribute to um, water polo, uh -huh. to the Singapore uh, water polo team. Uh -huh. more, uh. more protein, uh, bit of spice, bit of flavour, toasted sandwich perhaps, all day Mexican breakfast. Fantastic. Oh. So we will be back with someone from the water polo team in a short moment's time.
and welcome back to Whatcha Cooking. Yeah, it's been a long time since we had this format of delivery, and I really like that. So thank you for you know joining us still. Now uh, today I lost to Zayden lah, huh? Yes. Because we are back to my worst part of the competition, which is uh, plating. How do you feel about winning today? I feel good. Like it's like every not, day. Not shy, man. Huh? Win your brother over here. Not shy, man. It's always like that, right? <laughs> <laughs> So he's not a capacio, no, his skin quite thick. Huh? And of course, uh, Dr. Rico, you know, when you look at the plating style that we both had, yeah. is there any better way that we can deliver that dish earlier on? Oh, another way you could have done it was just like a kind of a, a scatter or a splatter effect. So you could just lay, because you have beautiful strips of pineapple, and you could have really made those sing on the plate by just spreading them out mm. and then. Um, pop some of that beautiful red dragon fruit in the middle in the gaps uh -huh. and then a little bit of oh, some white so splotch like paint. Yeah, yeah, frame yeah, it yeah. with the pineapple yeah. and the sander and then we have the greens on top. Yeah. Ah, and then you can sprinkle joke. the mint from a height. I really got to start researching on plating. I always lose on that one. Packaging bro. And, uh, <laughs> yes, and you are the entrepreneur over here, right? It's always about right packaging. So Zainam, with the recent uh, changes to you know the circuit breaker measure because mm. it's really uh, past 1st of June, mm -hmm. is there anything you want to say to the audience out there? I think the most important thing is to stay positive because honestly, I can't tell like what's going to happen. But whatever happens, just stay positive. You know, everything will turn out well. Yeah, just freestyle it mm -hmm. like a rapper. Just freestyle it. Yeah, yeah. just take it with stride, freestyle. Yeah. But it's a pleasure to have you. It's Thank been you about much. almost two months of not seeing you. Thank yeah. you for coming on to been the about, show. Been, yeah. So get busy. See you, brother. Thank you very much. Thanks for having Thanks me, Dr. Nicole. Good yes. stuff, right. man. All right. Thank you very much, guys. Okay. All right. Now, we always talk about digitalization, right? And today, yeah. you know, coincidentally, we have all the right people in place, the swimmers. Oh, we do. The people who like to have uh, a little bit of sleep issues. <laughs> There's an aquatic theme to the show, isn't it? All right, because it's the big boy show. Well, they're always hungry. Mm -hmm. yeah. And of course, today we have uh, one of the uh, most talented up and coming water polo player from the national team, right? Yep. That will be joining us right now. And this is none other than Sean Blashes Long. Hello, brother! Hey, Sean. Did I get your middle name correct? Blashes, right? Yeah. Blashes, right? Yeah. It's a very unique name. Isn't it? This is the first time yeah. I've actually heard yeah. a name that's so unique. So, uh, Sean, tell us how old you are and what you actually compete in. Uh, I'm 16, and I, this is like the first year I'm in the national men's water polo team. Wow. Like, uh, we are all prepping to get, try to get in next year's SEA Games squad. Yeah. That's what like, we are working towards. He's only 16? Yeah. He, he's going to be a big lad, isn't he? He's growing 100 miles an hour at the moment. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So, so how long have you been playing water polo before you actually got into the men's national team? Uh, I started when I was 10. And oh, that's really young. And I'm 16 mm. now. So that's like six years before so I got like into the men's. six years of focus and training team. before you really you know, get into the next platform. Was it was it a difficult process for you? You know, the uh, whole entire route? I would you say oh, it's okay lah, because there's, my batchmates all got in at the same time as me, and some ah. got in before me. So like, I have like a uh, goal and like to reach their level as well. Yeah. Fantastic. So I don't think it's that hard. Uh, Rico, we are, we are on, today's theme is a big boy show. So we had the steak, we had the capaccio, with yeah. the uh, coconut yogurt. Yeah. So what are we having now for this recipe? Well, this is just a really nice all-day Mexican breakfast. Um, I'm adding a little toasted sandwich to it as a tribute, really, mm -hmm. to the Singaporean water polo team because those boys can eat and they can eat toasted sandwiches. They eat them for breakfast, they eat them before training, they eat them after training, they eat them before bed. Wow. Usually it's ham and cheese. I'm going to do a little something different today. Um, yeah. I'm wondering what this boy eats for breakfast. I'm curious actually. also because you, you were saying to Zayden earlier on that they wake up at about 4.45 a.m. to get ready for their training, right? That swimmers, water polo have gentlemen's hours. They don't train quite that early, oh, I don't think. Oh, so it's actually different yeah. timings. So I thought it's the same. But yeah. what do you actually have for breakfast? Uh, if it's training at like 6, it's just like a simple sandwich with like um, butter and sugar, I guess. It's like the most simple, the simplest and the most tastiest. But if I have time, there's a special combination uh -huh. that it might sound odd, but it's really nice. It's peanut butter and jelly sandwich with okay, Doritos nacho chips. With what? what? With Doritos nacho <laughs> chips on peanut butter oh. and huh? that is like sweet savory. 
Oh, we gotta fix that up. I have no idea. We gotta show this fella. <laughs> if you if you eat this a different kind one. of uh, sandwich too, please comment below and let us know who you are so we can find the same kind of people that can be in line with <laughs> Sean over here. Uh, that's a, you need to try for yourself. The crunch you try and, for the, yourself. and the texture. Yeah, so what kind of yeah. paste does it taste like? I mean, what kind of, you know? It's like, like sweet and like, that's just sweet. Sweet and, and salty. It's a bit of a combination. Barbecue, sweet, 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 salty, crunchy. Yeah. Like yeah, young men. Yeah, like, like crunchy. Yeah, yeah. Sean, you know water polo players are pretty big. Mm. It's a big man sport, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. You're 16. You look like you're um, going to grow into a big lad, um, but you're still trying to eat to gain size, right? You're trying to put on muscle mass. Yeah. yeah. Um, you're still growing taller. You got about another three years of growth in you, right? Yeah. So, you know, I don't think you're going to grow so much on peanut butter jelly and Dorito sandwiches, but we can put a little more protein into that plan for you, I think. Yeah. You should join us for this all-day Mexican breakfast and uh, yeah, we'll get I'll you like growing real proper. It. Okay, so yeah. we're going to look at the ingredients for today. I can see for myself we have eggs, we got... Is that wheat bread? Yeah, that's just a, a nice um, high-fibre fi high high wheat, wheat meal bread, a little more filling. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to make a toasted sandwich with that. Mm -hmm. Rather than ham and cheese, I'm going to put it... I love um, an egg toasty. Mm -hmm. Egg and cheese really goes well together. It gives you more protein, right? More protein, yeah. And then all-day Mexican breakfast, classic flavours. Some beans, some eggs, some avocado, a little bit of lime. And um, you have cheese. Is that cheese over there? Yeah, that's going to go in our sandwich. So, Sean, do you usually prepare your own food at home? Are you a cook yourself? Or do you...? Uh, I actually like cooking. It's like very therapeutic for me. And it's like wow. nice to eat your own creation, right? Especially if it's good. And like Fantastic. sometimes my dad and like my family gets lazy to cook for themselves. So I just prepare something easy for them. So have you given them your peanut butter Dorito sandwich? Uh, not everybody wants to try it. But I let my, I think I let my sister try it. And she was like, she took one bite and then she just stopped eating. <laughs> and she, then she asked me to finish <laughs> it. Did anyway, someone give me a sandwich that looks like that? No way. But okay, I just saw Rico do something. He drizzled some olive oil. Yeah, and then just, he actually... Yeah, I've made a little nest in the middle of the bread. And that's going to hold my egg. Yeah. Oh, so the egg is actually a sunny side up? Well, we're going to make a toasted sandwich. So we're going to put another piece on top. Mm -hmm. right? But if I just crack an egg on a flat piece of bread, the oh, egg will just go everywhere. Ah. Yeah, so that just helps keep the egg inside the bread. There's um, some logic and science behind it. I have a toasted sandwich machine at home, but a lot of people in Singapore don't. don't so yeah. I thought we would just do it in a frying pan. Yes. Um, if you've got a frying pan at home, you can do a toasted sandwich. Try it as a high-protein breakfast um, or a really good filling snack before or after training. Fantastic. So yeah. we, you don't have to beat the eggs? No, I don't. No, I just go egg like that. I just go a bit of cheese on top. Oh, that's fast. Yep. This, this is, is a step one. Squash your bread a little bit, create a little well. Yeah. Crank an egg over, add the yep. cheese. Yep. That's it. Yep. We're done for the show. Thank you. Thank you for coming. That's it. And we'll see you next <laughs> That's quite <time>. simple. <laughs> it looks quite nice though. No, I'm just joking. I, 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 so, just like that? Yeah. And then we're just going to put that on a, on a low heat. Okay. So, uh, so, we have a second pan. What do we need to cook here? I only have avocado, beans. Just going to put a little lid on top of that and it'll help it cook a little quicker. Okay. All right. Um, we're just going to crack some eggs in here. Also, we're going to have another egg. So we have kidney sure, beans. If this was for Sean, yeah, huh? we'd give him about four eggs. As we are preparing the eggs right now, you know, Sean, you are in water polo, so which means you tend to require the pool as part of your training process, right? Now, with the circuit breaker yeah. measures and with the pools, you know, closed, especially to, to I think, even the sports athletes in Singapore, how has it actually affected your training and what have you been doing even after, you know, the circuit breaker is just over? I mean, we no, just went oh. through the circuit breaker. So during the circuit breaker have, like, and after the 1st of June, which is about now, what has changed and or what has remained the same? Uh, I think everything has changed. Like, but the only thing, okay, the only thing that's still the same is we're still training as a team every night from like around 8.30 to around 10.30 some days. Uh, with our SNC coach Kelvin and our other two coaches, so and we just assume... get together for PT for uh, like one two hours, and yeah, yeah, just go at it every day. So, so are y'all allowed to train in the pool during the the circuit breaker period, or also totally just? Uh, no. no, not no. at all. All home based. Wow, I assume this is the first time yeah. in your your six seven years of training where you have to be training from home and not seeing your teammates in the actual pool. So what, what actually, was, were there any 
pressure or stress that actually built up when you were stuck at home during this entire period of the circuit breaker? Uh, not really. I think like, even though we're not physically together, we are like still mentally together, the same goal. And like, we all are working towards that goal together. So like, we're on the same page at all times. So there's really a yeah. lot of camaraderie in the water polo team. Yeah? yeah, it really reminds me of um, of rugby, the culture in there. Yeah, yeah. and the lads all uh, bonding together and working mm. hard together, you know, to achieve um, to achieve the desired outcome. Yeah, so yeah. I think what, what has really tra transcended over and over with the athletes whenever they come to our show is to maintain that focus on yeah. their training and then still keep in touch. I see that we just sliced up the avocado. Yeah, I've been busy here, Ben. I've cracked the eggs into the pan. Okay. Um, and they're coming along. And then I just sprinkled the red kidney beans around oh, them. Let's Already the colour looks nice. Let's lift it up Look, the pan a little bit so that Sean nice, can see it? it too. Yeah. See that, can you see it, Sean? Yeah. You can hear the sizzle. Yeah. Is that like Mexican? Is yeah, Mexican. Mexican it is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Spun, right. Uh, Any I'd... seasoning that we add inside, just the eggs and the no, chicken, not yet. no salt, no pepper or anything? No. Nah. Wow. Nah. Um, whole avocado. Mm -hmm. Just slice it around the outside. Mm -hmm. Um, we only need half of it, mm -hmm. okay? Um, we've got a stone in the middle, so that's fine. So the, the half without the stone came away. Um, I just sliced it through. I always use a blunt knife in case the knife goes through oh, sure, the yeah, skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so but it, it slices there, yeah. it really quite easily. Yeah, like that. And then... Um, so this one we don't cook it, right? And then I just go around the outside. No, and, and so what we're going to do is just dress that uh, just nicely. Okay. Um, with a little bit of... Uh, Lime juice. You're just right. tossing this in lemon juice. Oh, just lemon juice, yep. that's it. Yep, uh, and that'll add a little bit of zing to the dish. Oh. Yeah, that'll be nice. Now, Sean, when, you know, now that the circuit breaker is loosening up a little bit, I mean, there, will, there might be changes in the future that we're not uh, able to foresee. But what do you actually hope to see with the measures loosening up? What? I hope we can just go back to the pool and start <laughs> training and like get yeah, ahead of like, because the whole world is facing this pandemic and it's not only us, right? So yeah. the earlier we get back, it's like the the bigger head start we get. So like once we get back into the pool and like since school is reopening, then my life can go back to normal. Yeah, yeah normal is good. There you go, Sean. I've done you some runny yolks there. Nice. So you can dip your, <laughs> your toasted sandwich bread in there as well. Yeah, very so nice. that, that's actually done. It's a very slow release, very filling, high fiber, high protein. Yeah, good fats, fats filling as well. Fantastic. Yeah, this is going to keep Sean going for ages. Yeah. yeah. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm really curious. Uh, have you missed out on any tournaments or competitions that were originally in place for this year? And then, you know, it's, it's going to be shelved or postponed like some of the other competitions? Yeah, we missed like, there's one competition in June mm -hmm. in Czech, if I'm not wrong. And now I got postponed to December. So I guess it's good in a way because I just got in the team and it's like, it gives me more, more time to build that. Yeah, adjust right? to the, the new team and like the new tactics to, to get fully prepared for the competition in December. Ah, if I get selected. So how many people are there actually in, in, in the competition when, when you have it on your team? Um, six plus one goalie in the mm -hmm. pool. And... The rest are on the bench. And so total, the whole team will be like 13 players. All right, All right. looks like your toast is ready. Yeah, toasted sandwich oh, is done. Let's, nice let's check the egg out. All right, let's check we'll the see, egg We'll see how we've done here. All right, let's have it sliced in the middle. Oh, it smells really good. And I think with oh, the, the cheese uh, is done. weed bread, uh, oh. it smells really, really nice. There's an additional... Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, Oi. Wow. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Just the way you like it on your Instagram. You, <laughs> look at that. Also, today we are serving everything on the pan. Yep. Uh, nice that's, and rustic. Mommy will be happy. Oh, look at the yolk. Oh, it's dripping out. Together with the yeah. cheese. Waste not, want not. Wow. A little bit on Looking top there. fantastic. Uh -huh. There you go. Well, I'm, I am salivating over here. I wish you were here, man. Because you will be able to weave the fragrance. <laughs> oh, I think I can you? smell it through my screen. <laughs> <laughs> Looks that's pretty how, good, eh? That's how nice it looks, isn't it? Yeah. Just dress a little bit of lime juice over your sliced avocado. Oh, oh yes, the avocado. Put that on the top. Nice so to give it an additional touch. Mm. Was it simple? In your opinion, when you look at us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, looks, it looks good and simple. Yeah, oh, that took quick. about 10 minutes to that put together. So if you don't have kidney beans, you could use baked beans even. That would be fine. All right, let's bring it over. I'm going to just taste it on your behalf. 
Smells really good over here. Oh, I love how the yolks are all runny. You know, Sean, I'm going to challenge you like what I do every episode to all the athletes that have come online, you know, to join us. That is for you to try this at home, take a picture, send it over to us so that we can actually show it to the audience uh, on how <laughs> our athlete have actually, you know, taken the step sure, ahead sure. and uh, try it. I'm going to put the avocado. Oh, avocado on toast. Yeah, That's a fantastic I'm one. I'm just going to steal the bean oh, yeah. and the egg. Oh, look at that one. Wow. I'm just going to place it over. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, it, it's really good. Yeah. You're going to love this one. Oh, yeah. Mm. Sean? This is a breakfast for a champion. Oh, yeah. Mm. yeah. So, Sean, before we, you know, uh, end off the program, is there anything you want to share with the viewers out there, you know, when it, when it comes to, you know, um, the younger generations aspiring to be a part of the sporting arena in Singapore? The thing I want to share is like, anything's possible, no matter how, how young you are. So just keep going at it. And like, in such in this pandemic, it's like, this is the best time to like, push harder than all the rest of your teammates to get, to get stronger and bigger. And once you go back, you can just surprise all of them. Wow. Like, nice. This is the only time you can catch up to your other players. All right, so uh, thank you, Jean, for joining us. I look forward to you sending the photos over to us of your dish replicated at home. So good luck to your training, and of course, hopefully, uh, the tournaments will be back in December for you, and that you will, you know, have stellar results on that one. Yeah, less Doritos, more protein, get growing, Sean, and we'll see you at Sea Games, man. All right, see you, ready? Thank you. Thanks. So much. See you. It's been a good time. Thanks. Bye. And of course, uh, thank you for joining us once again. And remember to LSFC. You know what's that? Like, share, follow, comment. Fantastic. He's taking over my job very soon. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, uh, thank you for joining us once again on... Watch, Watch Your Cooking! cooking.